Hey folks, Ted here today with XBED and the TT Series mats. The TT Series mats were designed for the long haul expeditions and tours where field maintenance over the long tr longer trips is really, really critical. Let me show you exactly what's going on with this. We do this, by the way, in a down version and also in a synthetic version. So, as with all XBED mats, you have an outer stuff sack. On the inside, you have a schnozzle pump sack. I'll show you how that works. And we have the mat. Inside the stuff sack is also a repair kit hanging in the outer pocket right here. Again, that applies to both mats right here. And that leads us into the next part of the story, which is what does TT stand for? TT stands for tube technology. It's a unique construction method that XBIT has come up with that allows us to give that field maintainability real functionality in the field. So let me show you how this all works. When we open the mat up, we have our inflation mechanism right here. We call it the octopus. It basically connects all of our flat valves together. I open up the flat valve on the mat, take the schnozzle pump sack, take the flat valve here, lock it on. Now I take the schnozzle pump bag, open it up, capture some air. This is actually easier to do when you're on the, in a tent or on the floor. And I squeeze a few bags of air into the mat. Hold the schnozzle pump bag open, capture some air, give it a couple rolls, and then squeeze it on in. And then just gather the fabric, squeeze in a little bit more, and gather some more, pop it all the way in. Really straightforward. It's a nice way not to have to blow in the mat. You can go ahead and just use the dry air and the pump sack to inflate the mat. Almost there. I think this is my fourth. Capture one more group there. This mat is nine centimeters thick, and it's nine centimeters thick and full of down, so it's super, super warm. By squeezing air in here, I'm equalizing all of the air chambers. And each one of these is a separate air chamber inside a sewn sleeve. That means I can regulate exactly what's going on with each one of the tubes, or I can equalize it by using the octopus inflation mechanism right here. Now I'll go ahead and take, drop the schnozzle pump bag, flip this over, flip it over, and you've got a nice, comfortable mat. Super thick, super warm, very durable on the outer face. And as I was indicating earlier, if I were to go ahead and put a hole in the mat, again, this happens on long trips occasionally, if I put a hole in here, because this is a separate chamber with a separate valve, I would know exactly where the hole was. I would know that this particular chamber was deflated, and I could either choose to sleep on the rest of the mat, or if it was in the middle, I could go ahead and squeeze the two tubes together, or I could pull the tube out, replace it, or patch it in the field. Easy, simple to do. Mainly, I'm left with a scenario, even if I have a hole in one place, that the rest of the mat is still entirely usable for the night right then and there, or I can repair it in the morning, easy. To deflate the mat, flip the mat back over. Again, this is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna remove the octopus right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just open up all the little valves. Simple, just pull out all the silicon flappers like so. And I'm deflating each of the chambers separately. Spin the mat around. In classic X-bed form, fold the mats in three, three parts. Squeeze the air out as best as you can with your body weight. And when you're just about done, open the mat again, fold it in half. And then just roll the rest of the air right out of the mat. Go ahead and squeeze the rest of the air out of the mat. Just like so. 
<laughs> grab your stuff sack. Drop the mat in. The octopus adapter for all the fly valves, drop that in. Close this up. Mat set to go. Take your sleeping bag, stuff in the schnozzle pump bag, roll that up, your sleeping bag's dry, and you're set for the rest of your journey. Have a good one out there.